All right, you guys, today I want to check out how to make halftone gradients made out of perfect circles or other shapes here in Illustrator. This tutorial was inspired from Hannah Bacon Design. She posts some amazing tutorials on Instagram. Go check out her page. All right, step one, we're going to go here to this little arrow and we're going to swap it. So the fill is going to be black and click on the stroke, click on the none and click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top right here. Now let's select the rectangle, press and hold shift, create a rectangle and we're going to go to the gradients. Let's select the gradient. Now let's go to the effect, pixelate and select color halftone. For the channels, I'm going to go with 45, 45, 45 and 45. This is basically 45 degree angles on the circle placement. And with the max radius, I'm going to try it out with 12. Click OK. So right now, as you can see, this image is a bitmap image because it contains a lot of pixels. It's not vector. So we're going to need to transform that into vectors. And we're going to apply the old classic method. Let's go to object, rasterize. Now make sure that it's on transparent, 300 PPI. Click OK. Now we can go to the properties and select image trace. I'm going to go with the default and here you can go to the settings and here you can customize the vector shape quite a bit, but it won't solve all the problems hundred percent. So let's go down, click on ignore color and click on expand. So this is the traditional way how you can do this. But if you zoom in, you can see the circles are distorted and basically they are downgraded. So we're going to try out a more cleaner approach. I'm going to delete this one. Let's select the rectangle again, go to gradients, select the gradient. I'm going to do the same process, effect, pixelate, color, half tone, 12, 45, click OK. Now we're going to need to make these circles separate each other. So as you can see here, they are touching each other and these areas are actually separate. And we're going to need to make the whole composition with the circle separate. So in this situation, what we can do is go to the gradients and we're going to go here to the black dot, double click on and go to the swatches. And if you select a lighter and lighter gray, check this out, the circle starts to separate from each other. So with this darker gray, actually the circles got separated pretty nicely. And I'm going to go with the lighter color. This should be good. Now from here, we're going to do the same process. Go to object, rasterize. You should go with the same settings, transparent, click OK. Let's go to image trace, select default. And I'm going to go to the settings ignore color, expand. Now you can see the circles are separated, but they look really bad. So we're going to need to fix that. For this tutorial, we're going to need to install the replacement script from github.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And when you access the link, you can go here to download the file. I also going to leave a link in the description with the tutorial on how you can install GSX scripts file in Illustrator. After you install it, make sure to restart Illustrator. Let's select the circle, press and hold shift, create a circle like that. Go to expand shape, right click, select copy. Let's select both shapes and we're going to go to the file. Let's go to scripts. And here you can see the replacements script, click on it. And basically here, these should be the settings. Make sure to check the replace items in group. And on the right side, these are the settings. Click OK and check this out. It basically replaced all circles with these perfect circles. Now you also can connect the dots if you want. You can go to the strokes and select the black color and increase the stroke thickness. And this way the circles are going to start connecting. Now I also can mix this up with some other shapes as well. So I got to go and select the star, press and hold shift, create a star. And I got to go here, drag it up. So this way it's going to remove a spike. And I got to go to expand shape. Let's select the direct selection tool and I got to make it rounded. I'm going to right click on copy, select both, file, scripts, replacements, click OK. And take a look at that. So this is how I work with this amazing script here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.